My name is Kevin Onsenior and I just wanted to reach out to you real quick and get to share a few experiences that I have. So yesterday I picked up this book, Making Sense, A Real Conversation uh, into Personal Finances. And I really can't be able to just put this book down. I've been able to read the book from cover to cover less than 24 hours and it's an amazing book that I would recommend you pick up this book and have a personal look into your finances and Centronomy and also Aseke is doing a very good job at putting out these stories in terms of talking about finances and your finances in particular. I've been able to read a lot of books concerning uh, personal development, money management, uh, business and so on. But I've not been able to come across a book that really speaks to that level that you know it speaks to you, to that Kenyan level that you can relate to, stories that you can relate to. And Waseka has done a great job uh, in making sense. And this is a book that you need to pick up and go through and realize and have those light bulb moments that you need to do something different with your finances. I have a friend that I was having a conversation with the other day and she was telling me that her finances, her salary doesn't stop in her bank account. That it just passes through. And I was like, if it doesn't make us stop, if it doesn't stay and even sleep for two, three days, then there is a problem. And this book and also Centronomy, they get to tell you how do you get to think second about or think twice about your finances. How do you, you get to have a light bulb moment, you get to have that aha moment that you need to do something differently. Because we can all agree to this that each and every day you're not growing younger. Each and every day you're growing older and each and every day that means that your energy is not coming more and more. That is if you are working or if you are a young person like I am. So what that means is you need to start thinking about your finances in a different perspective day to day because you are not going to have this same energy come tomorrow, come next year, come the year after. And also, if you, have a, if you are lucky to have a job, if you are lucky to have a business, things are not going to be the same each and every day that comes by. Things, there's always up and down. You've seen what has happened to us through this pandemic, through this corona. And things will never be the same again. That means that you also need to be adapting. You also need to be thinking differently. And this making sense is a great place to start and have that real conversation with yourself and see what other people have been able to do and think differently because it's not the lack of resources it is the lack of resourcefulness so with that i want to say thank you to centronomy i've been through centronomy 101 and thank you to a second for putting such a awesome book for us to relate to as Kenyans, for something that is laid to us uh, in a more perspective that we can understand. Thank you.